All right, hello everybody, and today we are taking a look at the very new Windows 10. So hello everybody, this is Windows 10. I got the tech preview. This is not the final version of Windows 10. This is just sort of a beta version. So it will be very buggy and it crashes all the time. I've used it for like 10 minutes and it's crashed on me like three times. So uh, if you're planning to use this as um, sort of a permanent Windows for your workstation, I would recommend waiting for the final release because it can really drive you nuts. So this is the Windows technical preview. And then with the technical preview, it comes with this welcome to tech preview icon on the desktop. When you double click it, it opens up your browser and uh, it brings you to this page. So nothing really new there. And if you notice Google Chrome on this corner over here, there's a little glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch or it's intentional, but the borders just seem a little weird to me. Anyway, it doesn't come with Google, Pro, uh, Google Chrome, obviously. Uh, Windows never comes with Google Chrome. In the end, you'll still have to use your Internet Explorer to download Google Chrome. So anyway, Internet Explorer, nothing new, actually. It doesn't look um, new in any way. I think it's still the same old Internet Explorer. So we're not going to use that anytime soon. We have the Windows Store on the taskbar here. So as you can see now, the so-called Metro apps actually run in Windows. Uh, now so you can see they run in Windows you can scale them you can move them around you can maximize them and I think if you want them to go full screen just like before you're gonna have to go here and hit full screen yes and now it is in full screen mode just like before if you want to exit full screen mode just hit your mouse to the top and then it should have clicked minimize anyway one of the uh, main features of Windows 10 is the mighty return of the start menu. So here we can see the good old start menu merged with the tiles from the Windows 8 start screen. So these are exactly like the Windows 8 start screen tiles. These are live tiles. They, uh, they move around so you can drag and scale them around just like Windows 8 and then you can unpin things from um, these tiles and then you can pin things to the tiles. Unpin. Yep and then you can pin them back in. So this is really neat. You can't really change the width of the tiles, but you can change the height. The width adjusts uh, automatically. So again, we have the search bar here. Ironically, there is a perfectly fine search bar here, but there is a search button right next to it. And then it also has trending, um, probably trending search topics on Bing. So this is probably a, um, is this a local search? Yes, it is a local plus online search. I So I bet these will um, search on Bing. Let's see, consumer reports. Oh, there's actually a search app. So yes, this is Bing. So there's an app for you to search things with now. But then of course there is also this search bar right here, which works very well. Anyway, um, one of the new features on Windows 10 is the snapping. So just like Windows 7 and Windows 8, you can snap things um, to the sides of your screens. I'm not sure if this is the final animation because it looks kind of lame. It just, the snapping preview just kind of pops in. But now I realize instead of snapping it full screen, snapping it to the side of the screen, now you can snap it to the corner of a screen. So that means you can actually snap up to four windows in one desktop. So let's open this in a new window. And sure enough, wow. I really like this actually. Um, back then you could only snap it to the sides so you can only do half screen or full screen and it's actually coming up pretty slow right now. But the corner snapping feature is really great. So my explorer just froze on me. So much for new Windows Microsoft. But anyway, if we open up, say down, oh there it is. So right now I noticed, if you see here, now you can see even more clearly which window is actually your active window. Like you see right here, my desktop window is active. So you can see the active window kind of floats on top and casts a little shadow on the inactive windows. So this is a really nice thing in my opinion. So you can really see 
even more clearly which windows is actually active. So all active windows, I think, all cast a shadow underneath them, which is really neat. Um, not bad. Good job, Microsoft. And one more thing to the design. You can see now windows, they don't really have a border to them. They're sort of borderless windows right now. It's sort of a seamless window. Um, no transparency like the Windows 7 Aero design. I sort of like the Windows 7 transparent Aero designs, but um, this, this seems pretty neat as well. So let's see what else. Oh yes, multiple desktops. So now you have, I think this is called a task view. So let's open an explorer on this desktop. Now you can see you have an explorer here. So you can add a desktop. So it will open up a new desktop for you. So let's open up Internet Explorer on this one and then Chrome on this one. So if I switch to the task view, I can jump back to the first desktop, which has my explorer. So let's Let's play with more desktops. Let's open the third desktop and let's open the store on the desktop. So this is a really neat feature for you to organize your, um, basically organize a ton of windows. So you won't really need to have a window, uh, a desktop with 10 or 20 windows on them, just full of clutter. Right now you can organize them into separate desktops. So you have a dedicated desktop for each sort of group of um, processes. So right now, you can even see there's a little indicator on the bottom of the screen that shows the apps that are open in other desktops. However, let's see, if I click on Google Chrome right here, it will automatic, uh, automatic, um, automatically jump me into the desktop which I have Google Chrome open in. So it jumps me between the desktops. So if I hit the store button, it will jump me to the store desktop. And if I hit the Explorer button, it will hit me to the Explorer desktop. So this means although you have multiple desktops, you cannot have multiple instances of the same app. Now let's see if we hit alternate tab. Okay, the alternate tab has also been overhauled. So you, as you can see, now you can see actually the full window of what's being open right now when you tap between them. No more full screen previews though. You can just see a small thumbnail of the windows that are open as opposed to back then you could only see just a thumbnail of the icon of the window, which is really neat. So we can alternate tab between. Let's see if Windows tab, oh, this is Windows tab. So Windows tab, instead of cycling through the windows um, like back then, actually now cycles through your desktops, which is really neat. So I've heard that um, the command prompt has been overhauled, although, but unfortunately I'm not really a command prompt person, so I don't really know much about command lines. I only use the command prompt to run IP config and that was it. But then, yes, I've heard very nice things about the command prompt. Let's see if the task manager has been um, changed in any way. So again, we have the good old simple task manager. We can switch to advanced mode and we have basically the task manager of the Windows 8. So to me, I've used Windows 7 since it came out and I've used Windows 8.1 for quite a while now on my Surface Pro tablet. My desktop was running on Windows 7 all the time and my Surface Pro tablet was running on Windows 8. So I'm quite familiar to uh, those two versions of Windows. So I can really say right now, Windows 10 is basically just a merge between Windows 7 and Windows 8. They just took Windows 7, Windows 8, put them together and poof, you have Windows 10. Because other than that, uh, other than that I can't really see uh, much difference in the Windows 10. It all just, it is all just very familiar. Anyone who's used Windows 7 or Windows 8 before would be able to pick up Windows 10 in no time. There's really not too much things that are new here in Windows 10. It's mainly just old stuff rearranged and a few new sort of small uh, tweaks to your user experience. So let's see what else. If you really like the good old splash uh, start screen of the Windows 8, you can actually get it back instead of the start menu. So you have to go to control panel, go to control panel under appearance and um, personali personalization, under taskbar and navigation, under start menu, you just untick this, use the start menu instead of the start screen. This is ticked by default. So if you untick this and apply, it will give you back the good old start screen. So you have to sign out and change settings. So you have to sign out. So I have just signed out and signed back in 
for some reason my screen capture stops when I sign out so I've just started it again so now let's hit the Windows button and sure enough you get the exact same start screen as the Windows 8 it looks exactly the same nothing new here again we have the apps layout up here shoot back up so we have all our live tiles back here so if we start say a metro app it still runs in the uh, windows desktop so there's no such a um, tablet sort of um, interface here in windows 10 when you start an app it will just open up back in your desktop so let's see again still the same old stuff you have to sign in to use pretty much all of windows services you have to sign in to your microsoft account so that is pretty much it on the Windows 10 preview. So I hope my video was able to provide you guys with an inside look on Windows 10. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.